besides being one of Hollywood's most successful filmmakers. Mel Gibson is super businessman who knows very well how to enjoy his huge wealth. But have you ever stopped to wonder about just how this celebrity lives? In this video, you will find out what Mel Gibson's luxurious life is like. Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag all about subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Career Born in 1956 in the town of Peekskill in the U.S. state of New York, Mel Columcil Gerard Gibson, better known as Mel Gibson, is one of Hollywood's most successful personalities. The beginning of his success began in 1979 when he starred in the movie Mad Max, which despite being produced with a low budget, became nothing less than one of the most profitable movies worldwide at the time. And unsurprisingly, Gibson has since been invited to star in two more sequels, Mad Max 2 and Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. From there on, his career really began to take off, with him being invited to star in several movies, such as Lethal Weapon, another successful production that yielded successors, the movies Lethal Weapon 2, Lethal Weapon 3, and Lethal Weapon 4. Throughout his career, Gibson acted in over 60 films, some of which actually performed very well at the box office, such as The Patriot, Casper, Ransom, What Women Want, Signs, among others. Another area that he stands out a lot is as a director, with him having several successful films in his resume, such as Hacksaw Ridge, Apocalypto, Braveheart, and The Passion of the Christ. And of course, all this success has earned him a lot of prestige, with him having received several awards such as a Golden Globe and two Academy Awards for Best Director. And it's because of all this that Mel Gibson has earned more than enough money to buy everything he could ever want, with him being able to live a super comfortable life full of luxuries. Real Estate in California When it comes to investing in good places to live, Mel Gibson doesn't skimp, with him owning several properties in California. He had, for example, a 3,354-square-foot residence in Los Angeles, located on an 8.93-acre lot, and according to some sources, the star bought it in 2004 for $1,750,000. Another Californian estate owned by Mel Gibson was a mansion in Sherman Oaks. The property, built in 2006, is 3,426 square feet in size. It features a living room with a fireplace, a wood-framed kitchen, for spacious suites and four luxury bathrooms. According to media reports, he sold the mansion in 2016 for $2,100,000, although he had bought it for $2,400,000 in 2009. The actor has also owned a farm in Sierra Retreat, known as Lavender Hill Farm. The main house boasts 5,403 square feet, while the outdoor setting boasts a 2.56-acre of landscaped garden that includes patios for relaxation, outdoor dining rooms, a pool for leisurely days out, and even a giant chess board. And according to some sources, he sold the property for $9 million in 2012. Moving the price up further, another impressive property Mel Gibson had in Malibu was a mansion on Carbon Mesa Road. Built in the 1990s, the two-story residence is 6,578 square feet in area, possessing architectural details from the period and a rustic design in its room compositions. The main rooms are the living room with views to the mountains, a French-style kitchen with a chef's island, a library with fireplace in the center, and a very elegant dining room. There are also other family rooms, a formal office and four cozy bedrooms, each with its own luxury bathroom. In addition, the master suite even has its own private balcony. Outside, meanwhile, the mansion sits on a 5.5-acre lot located in a canyon filled with landscaping native to the area, as well as having lovely ocean views that offer an atmosphere of tranquility for the residents. The place also includes two luxurious pools with different shapes, an outdoor dining table, several patios to enjoy the sunny days at, a barbecue area and a fitness center near the pool. Mel Gibson bought this property in 2008 for the princely sum of $11,500,000, but after 2017 he has since tried to sell the mansion for $17,500,000. 
and Mel Gibson's real estate portfolio in Cali doesn't stop there, he is also believed to own an estate in the Santa Monica Mountains, as well as having owned a few properties on Broad Beach Road, with one of the residences he purchased being worth over $22 million. Cars Everyone knows that having the means to acquire good vehicles isn't an issue for Mel Gibson, but does the mogul really own good cars? Starting with the cheapest, he has been seen in a $15,000 Smart for two. A bit more expensive, he's already been spotted in a $20,000 Lexus LS430. Moving up the price, the actor has also been spotted with a Lexus LX450, an SUV that can be found for around $35,000. However, during his period of social isolation, Mel Gibson was seen driving around in his Audi Q7, a sporty, versatile SUV equipped with a rather powerful V8 engine. And to have an idea of its price, a brand new vehicle of this model can cost about $65,000. Even more expensive, he has also been seen with his Mercedes CLS 500, a luxury sedan capable of offering a lot of refinement to its passengers. And no wonder this vehicle can be found costing over $80,000. Gibson has also been seen getting into a Range Rover Sport, a rugged SUV with a very imposing design. The interior of the vehicle offers plenty of space and comfort and is equipped with a modern dashboard. Which is why depending on the model and year, it can easily top $95,000. The most expensive vehicle he was spotted driving was a Maserati Quattroport, a super sports car equipped with a V8 engine made for those who like speed. To get an idea of its power, the vehicle can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.7 seconds, and is capable of reaching a top speed of 190 miles per hour. And it's no wonder that to own such a vehicle, one may need to fork out around $200,000. Other Properties Mel Gibson is a big-time real estate investor who loves to buy and sell luxury property. He has had, for example, an agricultural farm in Kiowa Valley, located in Australia. Known as Springbank South, the stone house has a rustic yet sophisticated style. There is an open design living room, a modern kitchen with wood flooring, plus sitting areas, library with elegant bookshelves and other everyday amenities. Outside, the verandas offer stunning views of the landscaped grounds, there is also a heated swimming pool, which has a separate spa place, and a vast lawn where the animals are raised. According to some sources, the property is 810 acres in size, however, the actor disposed of the place in 2004 for $6 million. Mel Gibson also owns an island known as Mago Island, located in Fiji, an archipelago in the southwestern Pacific Ocean. The actor's island is 5,400 acres in size and has only a few modest residences scattered around the territory, as the star decided to preserve the place without doing any major renovations. According to media reports, Mel Gibson bought the island for $15 million. Another property the actor once owned was Old Mill Farm, a medieval-style mansion in Greenwich, Connecticut. The main residence is over 15,000 square feet and was built in 1926, having an old and rustic architecture, ideal for a quiet and a very luxurious living. There is a spacious living room with high wooden beams, plus stunning stained glass windows, English wood paneling and a large fireplace. Another room that draws attention is the beautiful library, which is not only rich in architectural details, but also has views of the garden. The formal dining room has a large table for 26 people, decorated with antique paintings and an ornate plaster ceiling. The place also features another more casual dining room with large murals on the walls, not to mention the eight suites and versatile kitchen, equipped with high-end appliances to meet the needs of the residents. Outside, the grounds span over 75 acres, with large lawns where a variety of plants and trees are grown, as well as large flower gardens and great trails for going for a walk. There are also several surrounding patios to enjoy the weather, plus a giant chess set, a veranda with a dining table, and an area with a luxurious pool. Other amenities include a tennis court, a maze of green hedges and a lovely lake, which offers beautiful scenery to relax near nature, not to mention the site also has a stone house, an animal stable and a sophisticated greenhouse. According to some sources, Mel Gibson bought the mansion in 1994 for $9,300,000 until he sold it in 2010 for $24 million.
Another property the star once owned was a large ranch in Montana called Beartooth Ranch, which is 5 miles from Columbus and 45 minutes from the Billings International Airport. The ranch is about 12,350 acres, with abundant water resources and fertile land for raising livestock. The site has some cozy residences, plus barns and operational workshops to care for the extensive grounds and animals. There is a diversity of habitats throughout the farm, where several species of animals live, making this an ideal refuge for those seeking to live in contact with nature. The property even has several trails and fishing sites, thanks to the waters of a river that runs through the estate. According to some sources, Mal Gibson sold the property in 2007 to neighbors, but the place has been listed in recent years for $30 million. Another impressive property the actor once owned was a 400-acre waterfront ranch, located on the Nicoya Peninsula, Costa Rica. The place is situated in a remote jungle, having three villas with the predominance of regional elements, which make the place unique and even more cozy. The main residence, known as Casa Guanacast, has a large living room with glass windows, plus an open dining area and seven cozy bedrooms. There are also beautiful gardens close to the resting patios, lovely terraces and a pool area with an area for sunbathing. The other two additional homes, meanwhile, have two bedrooms and are just as cozy as the main residence, not to mention each has its own luxurious pool. In addition to all the amenities, there is an exclusive helicopter landing area and a secluded portion of the beach that is just moments away from the residences. According to media reports, Mel Gibson purchased the place in 2007 for $26 million until he decided to put it up for sale for the price of $35 million. And all these properties are just a part of Mel Gibson's portfolio, as he is estimated to have hundreds of millions of dollars invested in various estates around the world. Overspending A man as rich as Mel Gibson has more than enough money to enjoy a lot of luxury. When it comes to taking care of his appearance, for example, he doesn't skimp out a bit. Proof of this is that he has been seen with expensive watches on his wrist, such as a $50,000 yellow gold Rolex Submariner and $60,000 Pepsi Rolex GMT Master. However, at the time of moving to different places in the world, the actor has been seen leaving a Hawker 400 XP, a twin-engine medium-sized executive aircraft, ideal for interstate and international travel. The jet's interior has the capacity to carry up to eight passengers with great comfort and refinement. And while it's not certain if he actually owns this aircraft, the price of this model of jet is estimated to be around $2,500,000. But besides spending his money on luxuries, Mal Gibson is a man who likes to help people in need, having already donated millions of dollars to various charities. One of his best-known donations was for the medical treatment of needy children around the world, in which according to some sources, he has donated around $10 million. Net Worth Being considered one of the most successful celebrities in Hollywood, it is a fact that Mel Gibson has already amassed a huge wealth throughout his career. But things weren't always easy for him. In his first successful film, Mad Max, for example, it is estimated that he received only $15,000, seeing as his name was not yet well known in the film industry. From then on, his salary grew exponentially until it reached million dollar figures. According to some sources, it is estimated that he received about $500,000 for the river, $1,200,000 for Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. $1,500,000 for Chicken Run, $10 million for Lethal Weapon 3, $15 million for Maverick, $20 million for Ransom, $25 million for Signs. But nothing compares to the amount of money he received in The Passion of the Christ, that's because through his production company, Icon Productions, he decided to invest $45 million from his own pocket in order to produce the film, since he wasn't getting enough funding for his project. This led to him having a large percentage of the profits of the film, which ended up being a real box office success. His profit shares alone earned him over $400 million. And to give you an idea of how powerful and wealthy Mel Gibson is, in 2011 it was reported that his net worth was approximately $850 million, but he ended up losing half that amount in his divorce settlement with his ex-wife Robin Denise Moore, which at the time was considered the largest celebrity divorce settlement in history. 
Currently, although no one knows exactly how wealthy the actor is, we can estimate that after a decade of work, Mel Gibson must have amassed a net worth of at least $500 million, which could have been much higher if he was still married. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.